Hello everyone, welcome to the vlog. Today we are doing some paper making. I'm excited because it has been a little bit since I've done paper making. If you guys have been following me, you guys know last semester I was doing a lot of paper making because that was like my class description. But right now I'm no longer in that paper class, but I'm doing an independent study on some paper making. So I have been doing a little bit of it here and there. And today we're gonna go into studio and actually do some. And I'm very excited because it has been a while. So I bought this large bag of flower stuff so we have like these are uh don't forget me flowers i don't know what that means um lilies these are jasmine like flower buds and we have like a bunch of different ones in here that i was supposed to use last semester i never really got around to it so i'm finally gonna try to use them today and i'm really excited because i haven't put flower into paper before so like we're gonna see how it goes. I did some embedding of like other stuff last semester and it went pretty well. You guys can watch like my other paper making videos. I will link above, but yeah, this is gonna be my first time and I have no idea how it's gonna go, but we're just gonna see. So I'm just gonna head over to studio and we can just like do all this together, have a fun little time, little studio vlog. It's gonna be great. And then we'll come back and check on the flowers there. So let's. Go ahead and go. And alrighty, welcome to studio. So I got my paper pulp all set up and then we got our little molten decal and this is what the pulp looks like. I'm using cotton pulp today. I don't really know what the difference is. I just like white paper, but here I am dumping in some of the lavender and I mixed it all in. And this was so fun. Something about this was just like so therapeutic to be honest. I love being able to just like make a big vat of stuff. I don't know, maybe that's just me. We're gonna make some of the paper now. This is very, very exciting exciting and this is my first time adding like organic things into my paper because as you guys saw last time in my videos i was only adding paper but the method is the same after you mix everything in you just put it in your mold and decal and then you wait for all the water to drip out and you also want to take the mold is this the mold is this the decal i don't actually know which piece is which but you take the top part off and you're going to drain all of the water and then you're going to press it onto your little mat these are called pellons and they basically like I don't know, aid you in making paper. I don't know all the logistics. I just know what they're called. But I started using a sponge, which I didn't do before because I learned it from a special little resource, which I will talk about in a minute. But I'm just going to make a ton of these sheets. I love just like making a bunch of stuff in case you guys haven't noticed. I like making series of things. I like making a ton of paper, a ton of prints, just a ton of stuff. So we are making a ton of paper today. And I mixed in some more of these lavender pieces because i felt like there wasn't enough i went through a lot of paper and a lot of paper pulp and a lot of lavender but we're gonna do the same process here as you can see i'm just dabbing the back with a sponge and this just kind of helps to like keep the water moisture levels in check i don't know it makes it a bit more manageable because last time i was doing this i would just throw it onto the pellon and it would be fine for a while but then after i pressed it and everything in the press the fibers would start to get kind of messed up so now i like using a sponge and i think the results are probably going to be better but i'm just going to drain all the paper keep making some more and this process is really fun and i don't know if you guys noticed but i'm actually in a different building in a different studio than i was in winter session and that's because i am actually using the brown facilities now for reasons i will not discuss <laughs> but yeah i'm officially you know vibing on brown campus i've always been up at brown university a lot but now i'm in their buildings he he <laughs> but we're just gonna keep doing this process over and over again and i was watching Watching Austin Alley. That is my current show that I'm re-watching. But as you can see here, there's some close-ups of the lavender pieces and they just kind of float on the top of the water. So sometimes they stick to like the top. And then as you can see, when I release a sheet of paper, you can see the back of the paper and there aren't as many lavender pieces there. So I don't know how that's gonna turn out, but we're just gonna see. But here are some of the sheets that I've pressed so far and we're just gonna keep going. And they look so pretty. I really like them. I think they look so like organic and beautiful. And I love that there's little flowers in there and that's just like so much fun you know and i have a lot of other flowers i like to test out too so i'm really excited to get to that yeah we got so many sheets of them this is very relaxing very aesthetic very fun i want to talk to you guys a bit about how i'm learning how to make more different kinds of paper now that i'm not in this class anymore which is thanks to today's sponsor which is skillshare 
And before I get too deep into it, I just want to come and talk to you guys about the sponsor of today's video, which is Skillshare. I'm sure you guys are familiar with Skillshare, and if you're not, they are a platform that allows you to learn so many different skills and share them, hence the name Skillshare. I have been using Skillshare for a while, and as you guys know, I'm no longer in a class to learn about paper making. A lot of the things I just have to figure out on my own now, and Skillshare has been so, so helpful with that. So like, Skillshare is an online creative community that lets you learn so many different things, and they have so many different categories from like art to like finance, which also helps me a lot with like my small businesses. And there's even stuff for self-care, which is like amazing. So, like everything you could possibly imagine, Skillshare has probably got the video for you. And I'm so happy for Skillshare because I'm actually graduating soon. And after I graduate from RISD, there will be no one left to teach me how to do all these things except for Skillshare. So I'm gonna be relying on them a lot, a lot. I learned a lot about paper making from Skillshare. And one of the main things I learned is to use a sponge to control your water, which you see me doing now. I was not doing that winter session my papers were turning out a little scraggly and it was not the greatest experience. One of my favorite lessons that I've been following is paper making, adding seeds, petals, and embossing by Open Hands Creative, Morgan and Jordan. They even have a kit that you can purchase if you're super new to paper making and I just think that's so helpful. As you can see, there are a lot of paper making classes that you can find on Skillshare among a bunch of other art videos. Also, Skillshare was so kind as to give me a code and for the first thousand people that signed up that use my link down below and code, you will get one month free, which is such an amazing deal. So like definitely jump on that. Thank you again to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Let's go back to the paper making. I am excited. So continuing on with the paper, we are just pressing some of the final sheets that we have here. And this part is just like half of the process. Honestly, I always think this is just the full process and I don't gauge my time properly. But after I press all the sheets, you got to put them in a press and everything. And I didn't film that part because it's really boring, but basically it's like this giant machine that presses all the water out of it. So as you can see, they're still kind of like pulpy here because there's still liquid in it, but I'm going to press all the water out. And this is what they look like after they're pressed. As you can see, they're they're very thin sheets and they're delicate-ish. They can be mishandled a little bit, but it's easier just to like be gentle with them. But I'm gonna lay them all out on these papers and then I basically stack them all together and that is how they're going to dry. So now I'm gonna move on to making my second set of papers, which is gonna be similar because it still has some of the lavender pieces, but has these forget-me-nots or as the packaging says, don't forget me. I feel like it was lost in translation or something, but we're just gonna try to submerge these. And as you can see, they were super water resistant because these flowers are dried and I was not expecting them to be this resistant to the water so when I was soaking them I had to wait quite a while for them to start getting incorporated with the pulp but that's okay you know I just realized I can just kind of like push them in with my thumb so every time I was using the pulp before everything would settle super well as you can see I'm just like using my thumb and pushing the little pieces down and this just makes sure they're embedded into the paper so they're not gonna be like free floating and possibly pop out of the paper because that would not be good but I'm gonna repeat the process with these this pulp is now a little bit chunkier because because I have a bunch of these different pieces, which is fine, which is fun, you know? Never worked with such a chunky pulp, so an experience to be had. But yeah, we pressed a couple of these pages as well. These also came out super good in pulp form. I'm pretty happy with the way they look, and I'm just going to leave them just straight chilling in their little container thing. I'm thinking about making a journal with all of these pages, which is why I'm making just like a gigantic amount of papers, but also I like having just a lot of one thing to kind just look at to hold to cherish i don't know so that's why i'm making so many of them but yeah the idea is to ultimately bind them into a journal which i think would be super fun and i have this purple fabric that would be perfect for the cover but anyway i'm just finishing up pulling my last sheet it's going to look so beautiful wow and i think i got the hang of it more as i went on and now i have a better grasp of like how to do it but here's how they came out all pulpy like before the press and they're really pretty you can see a lot of the flowers shine through and i just love the way that they look i think it looks looks so beautiful and I'm like yes this is pretty much exactly what I imagined them to look like so I'm pretty happy. We're just gonna move on to a few days later because these have to sit in the press for quite a while while they dry and they actually took longer to dry than normal. I left these for like half a week and they were still a little bit damp some of them so I'm not sure why that is but as you can see we have a lot of blotters here and the paper came out so nice. These are like so flat which is weird to say but compared to last semester because 
last semester I was kind of breaking the rules and I wouldn't leave the papers in for the appropriate amount of time because we were in winter session and we were on a time crunch but now as you can see I'm leaving them for as long as I should and they look so good and I'm just so happy about it so this part is honestly so satisfying and as you can see the blotters which are like the big papers that I'm putting them on they are community blotters which means other people in the classroom use them which means means that obviously it's going to be a little bit stained from other things and sometimes I can get on your paper which kind of sucks but it's okay especially because I made so so many sheets that it's like I can spare a few sheets getting a little you know gross but this is the bag that I took them back in and there's so many as you can see so I'm so excited to show all of you guys the final results whoa this is exciting okay so I have my papers they're all in here and there's a lot of them it filled up like the entire bag i was not expecting that honestly but we have all of them so this is how much paper i made do you see this is a lot i have them separated because these are the lavender papers and i wasn't expecting the purple to come in i don't know if some people are expecting that from these papers but i figured that that wasn't gonna happen but they're so pretty. Each of them is different, obviously, because they're like handmade paper, but I just think they are so beautiful. Now I have like so many of them, so I don't know what I'm gonna do with them yet, but I think I'm going to just like keep them the way they are. They're also so flat because I let them chill in studio for a couple of days. Some of them are a little stained, either from the lavender itself or from other things from like the blotters or whatever, because obviously we're using like community things. So people are sharing stuff with me in the studio. I have this huge stack of lavender paper. I think I'm gonna tie some up in a bow to keep them kind of together. They're beautiful. And then we also have the ones, and then we also have the ones with the forget me nots or don't forget me as it says. I feel like it's supposed to be forget me not plants, but I don't know. But some of them, you can see like the purple through flowers and it's really cute. I think I might journal on some of them as well. I might use one today just to write a little, a little bit because I think it'd be cute. I kind of want to journal a bunch on these and then bind them as like a book. I think that'd be super cute, but so pretty. Oh my God. So I want to try to journal on one right now actually and like see how it goes. So let's do that. Okay, so I have a bunch of the papers here. I'm currently separating some of them. Like I'm just kind of grading them, I guess you could say. And I'm trying to find one that would be good to write on. As you can see, they're all so different. Some of these are staying blue because of the blotters, which was kind of annoying, but also pretty much out of my control. But yeah, as you can see, they're all really, really pretty. Some of them have like a bunch of them and then some of them have like very few of them. I think this one would be a good one to write on actually. But yeah, I'm just going to put away these stacks. And also I have this purple ribbon that I've never had a chance to use. So I'm gonna use some now just so I can like wrap these up. Snip. We're just gonna do them this way just to kind of like hold them together, if that makes sense. And then tie a pretty little bow. Oh, literally so cute. Okay, let's do this big stack and then I'm gonna do a couple of these little ones as well. This one, let's do more like a bundle because I probably won't be using these anytime soon. So plan to package them for a longer term. Like that. So I'm just gonna tie a bow like before. So cute, oh my God, I love this. I feel like a fairy who like makes her own little paper. Why is this bow also so much prettier than this one, lol. I just realized this side is prettier. So I just shifted the bow over. Oh my God. And then I'm gonna just like bundle some of these little stacks up and I, could potentially sell these. Would anyone be interested if I sold these on my Etsy or on my online shop actually? Because if so, I would totally sell these. But yeah, I'm excited because I wanna make a lavender journal and this would just be so cute. This one has a little bow. This way, like when I bring these to class, I don't have to bring my huge stack. I can just bring this little one, show like professors and stuff what I've been doing. Cause right now a lot of documentation for all my classes. So, so cute. Oh my God, they're so beautiful. Look how pretty this one is. Like literally 
is beautiful. I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh my god. Now last thing, I just want to journal on some of these, so let's see how this goes. Okay, so let's just see how this turns out and how straight I can write without any lines. Okay, normally when I write about this much, it's time to start adding stickers. So I have this grape cat that I've been wanting to use, but I literally have had like no reason to use it. Yes, the top right here. Oh my God, literally perfect. We have this guy who's like in love with an eggplant. I think I'll use this. Oh my God, so cute. And that one? This sticker is actually one of my very special ones and it has some like gold foil on it. So that's so pretty. I'm just gonna call these flowers forget-me-nots, even though I think they might be something else. I feel like they just spelled it wrong or like lost in translation. Also, sometimes I like to just like pre-plan where my stickers are gonna go. So I feel like this will be a cute spot. I feel like I just need one more sticker here, but I don't have anything. I guess we can put this little jam guy there. Pastry that goes with him that I'm putting here so I can balance out this like yellow color. But I feel like we're done. But yes, I feel like this looks super cute and I'd love to do like a whole journal on this paper. I will have to invest in some more purple stickers, but like I want to make a purple journal. I feel like that's so cute. So I'm literally going to go and search for some purple stickers like right now. Ah, literally so pretty. I love the paper. OMG. Yes. Ah. But it looks so good and I'm pretty happy with it. I really love all the lavender. As you can tell, this is a very like purple themed lavender video. But yeah, I feel like it was so weird, um, but pretty similar to the last few times I embedded stuff in paper because all I had to do was like put little seeds in and then mix it up. But because these were dehydrated, I definitely had to add water to them and just like let them soak for a while, which I wasn't expecting. I thought it was gonna be like tea and the minute that you put it in, it's just gonna like puff up and look like it does. But no, I had to wait quite a while for the water to soak in. So that was probably the only thing. Overall, it came out pretty good. So I'm pretty happy with it. And you guys can let me know what you think down in the comments below. And yeah, check out Skillshare and use my code so you guys can get like a month free. That's like super sick. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. So stay hydrated, take a nap, and I will see you when I see you. Sorry for the short video today. Goodbye!